Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. So I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys. Um, I was going to share it last night and I just um, didn't get around to it. Um, I tried a new recipe, um, homemade Salisbury steak, and I got to tell you, it turned out really well. I was surprised and the guys asked for me to make it again. So I guess that's a plus. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around a spell. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Ding the bell next door if you want to get notifications of future videos. Thumbs up, likes are always appreciated. And any questions or comments, please leave them down below. So, um, uh, yeah, Dollar Tree. So, I hadn't been in Dollar Tree for a little bit. And, um, I found some good books. And I went because, um, K is for Karen... She is such an awesome enabler when it comes to the Dollar Tree. And um, she found some really awesome books. And so did um, Anna Only in My Dreams. Um, both of those ladies, I mean, ugh, they are the bomb when it comes to Dollar Tree. And uh, so I went on the hunt for books. Now, I didn't find any of the ones they found. But I did find some ones that um, I think I will get some use out of. So I'll probably share those last. Anywho... Um, I did find some file folders. There are, there were two more styles. I picked up three styles. There were two more there. I didn't like them, so that's why I didn't pick them up. But, uh, they had these pretty, I think they kind of look like poppies. Um, so there's that. Then you've got the butterflies. And, um... I don't know what you want to call those. There are, there are flowers on it, but I did like the colors. So I got those, and there's three in each pack. Then I had seen these in some hauls a couple of weeks ago, but never saw them in my store. And there were more patterns, but my store didn't have it. Uh, but they're sticky note um, pads. And I'm always needing to take notes in the car. <laughs> And I can never seem to find anything to write with. So I got these to actually keep in the car um, for when I need to take notes or make, you know, I know I need to run to the store and I want to make a list. But you have a notepad here and then you have sticky notes over there. So, and it has a Velcro, um, so it'll close and stay shut. So I got those, was really happy to find those finally. I wasn't looking for them, but they, sh they showed up. Uh, those are the books. Then, um, I picked up some more of these um, wood pieces in the craft area to make decorations for our doors for the cruise. Um, they only had the one anchor. They didn't have any more, just the one. And um, But they had these. Uh, and they only had the one of these. And I, and I have more. So I have plenty to make because there's going to be a total of four cabins. Yeah, we have four cabins between all of us. So I was making decorations for all the cabin doors. I saw these pens. I was looking for some other ones um, that Anna, or not Anna, that um, Karen had showed in one of her recent videos and I I could I can't remember what they're called right now. If I saw them, I would know them. But these are dual tip. If you look, it's like you're writing with two tips at the same time. And um, I thought that would be interesting to try. So this one is a blue orange. So hello, go Gators. And then we have a like a baby blue and green. So and then, I didn't see any other color combinations. So there's that. I've been debating whether to get back into putting my makeup on every day. Um, I don't really mess with it because I get up so early in the morning. But I thought, I saw these Revlon um, powders. And I do use powders or creams. And I do like those colors. This is called... Ugh. It doesn't say. It doesn't say what it's called. It's like a gold... And this is kind of like a sham, kind of cross between a champagne and a bronze. There's that. And then I wanted to try this uh, shimmer, this um, 
It's called Honeysuckle by LA Colors. I thought I'd give that a try. That's along one of some of the colors I wear. So, grabbed those. I cannot stand stuff in my teeth. I always have toothpicks or something in my purse. And I love these gentle placards, uh, gentle picks, and they come with a case. So I always have these in my purse um, just to make sure I get everything out of my teeth because I'm just weird like that. I'm, 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 I can't stand smelly breath. <laughs> and so I'm always paranoid about, you know, my breath and everything. And not that I need to be, but I'm just, there's nothing worse than walking up to somebody <laughs> and it just knocks you out. That, that's all I'm going to say. It just knocks you out. Um, so I always have these on hand for me and the guys at work, like if I run out, one of the other guys has them, it's, it's really funny. So we're all hooking each other up in the floss or pick department, but I uh, love those. And they have, like I said, they have a little kit here. I'll open one up. They have a case. Uh, come on. Of course it's not going to open easy. Really? Okay, here we go. Turn it. Um, but they have a little case that they come in, and it's really handy. Um, you just break them off, and you know it. And it does; it fits nicely in between your teeth. And um, you can just buy the refills and refill these. But I get them at the Dollar Tree, and I think that's pretty reasonable. So there's that. And finally, finally, uh, I shared these a couple hauls ago. These are the tube confetti. And I was like, how awesome would it be if I could find the white? You know, I don't red, white, and blue. And um, someone had told me it's out there. I found it in silver, gold, and like this iridescent white. So, not only am I covered in the 4th of July, but I'm also covered for, like, Christmas. Because, you know, the red, green, gold. Um, was really ha excited to see those. And I wasn't looking for them. It was just, like, it just showed up. And, um, on to the books. I have a thing for cookbooks. I have a rather extensive cookbook library. <laughs> um, some of them are over a hundred years old because I got them for my grandmother and yeah. Um, they're family cookbooks. Anywho. So I saw this one and it's called Tom Parker Bowles Let's Eat Recipes from My Kitchen Notebook. And I'm not big on Italian, but I love a good spaghetti. And I do have a couple really good uh, meatball recipes, but this one looked good and I wanted to give it a try. And, uh, mm, gross. I didn't say gross, I said grouse. It's a uh, roast grouse. It's a bird. Uh, let's see. Eh, I'm not into fish. Anyway, there were a lot of um, recipes in here that I thought that I'd like to try. And I mean, for a dollar, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, that looks good. What is that? Let's see what that is. That is, well, that's not what that is. Maybe it's the next page. Well, that, that maybe that is what it is. Shoulder of lamb with palms, I can't pronounce that. Bolongre? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, but I don't think I'll be making that one. Anywho, um, for a dollar, and this said it normally sold for, well, in the UK, it sold for £14.99p. And is there a price for the US? There is not. There is just a, a UK price on there. So, Tom Parker Bowles. I wonder if he's related to... Anyway, okay, so there's 
that one. Then, uh, the, the Duck Family, uh, the Duck Commander Kitchen, Miss K, Celebrating Family and Friends, Miss K, Recipes for Every Month of the Year, and I love Good Southern Cooking, um, Marinated Coleslaw, I think that looks like heaven, uh, Slow Cooker Pork Barbecue Sliders, I love to do, um, Slow Cooker Barbecue, I've done that a lot, uh, Shrimp Cocktail, Dill snack cracker sounds good to me. Spinach artichoke dip in a bread bowl. Oh my gosh, I love a good spinach artichoke dip. And for a dollar, I mean, to me, this was a slam dunk. Chicken fried steak with milk gravy. Uh, yeah. Anywho, this originally sold for... What did it sell for? It sold... I guess it was free. There's no price on it. I don't know. But, um, I'm take, definitely taking it for a dollar. Um, and yeah, so I was excited to find that one. And then these, they had a whole series of the, in, in this line, uh, the Made Simple line. It's off the Flower Pot Press. Oh, see? And my Dollar Tree had all of those. Uh, chicken, keto, breakfast, soup, pasta, and vegetables. And I just picked up the breakfast and the chicken. Uh, we do a lot of chicken in our house and, uh, creamy chicken chowder for a dollar. I'm like, yeah. Um, and then breakfast made simple overnight breakfast. Ooh, that sounds good. Enchiladas, breakfast, fried rice. Yeah, I'll pass on that one. Banana bread. I'll tear that up. Cinnamon raisin bread pudding. Yep. Yes. Yeah, oh, we used to make these when I was a little girl. Egg in a hole? Who, who else has made egg in a hole? I haven't made that in forever. I need to make that. Gosh, I haven't. I have, yeah, it's been years. Uh, look at that. Corn fritters. And I was just Googling a recipe for that the other day. Um, I was in Charleston, South Carolina, many, many, many years ago, and there was a restaurant I ate at, and I can't remember what it was, and they had the most amazing corn fritters. They were almost, they were like a little mountain, and uh, it was just so light, and I just, I would have just ate the whole thing as a meal. I would have just got a whole bunch of them <laughs> and ate them as a meal. They were so good. Uh, so, I, a dollar a piece, um, yeah. And then, like I said, I love slow cooker recipes. It's a saving grace for me because, like, when I come home from work, I'm just exhausted. You know, so sometimes I might get up early, prep it, put it on low, let it go all day long while I'm at work. And then by the time everybody's home and settled, dinner's ready. And, you know, I didn't have to do anything hard. Um, these are, it says Kappa books. I don't know. We have butter chicken, pepper steak. Lemon, a chicken thigh, well, eh. ribs. Oh, y'all, I have a really good rib recipe. Um, it's rosemary. It's a rosemary dry rub that I put on my rack of ribs, and I even make a homemade barbecue sauce. Um, I might have to share that sometimes. It is not mine. Um, a, a, so I was a Navy wife long before I was an Army wife. And um, one of my friends, and we're still friends, um, when we were stationed in Guam, she made these ribs that were to die for, and they're in the oven, and I got the recipe, and they're a hit every time I make them, and they, they, they cook for three to four hours, and they just fall off the bone. Anyway, um, French onion soup, baked beans, lentils, baked ziti, oh, another meatball recipe. And I love pepper steak, so we might have to give that one a try. So, another pulled pork sandwich. Yes, this is a hint, maybe. I mean, it's come across in three books, so. Gonna try that one. And then we have Southern Favorites by Kappa Books. Okay. Excuse me. Okay, we love grits in our house, but I'm not a shrimp and grits person. Deviled eggs, and I'm sorry, those don't look good, and I'm very picky about my deviled eggs. 
um, mayonnaise, cream cheese, salt, pepper. You know that? No. No. Buttermilk biscuits. Okay. Yep. I'm there for that. Homemade gravy. Homemade cornbread. Um, southern goulash. Chicken and gravy. Oh my. <gasps> Low country boil or it's also referred to as Buford stew. If you've never had this, it is amazing. Yes. They've, oh, country fried steak again. Hey. Let me see. Is that, what do they call it? Oh, they call, <laughs> they call it shrimp corn and sausage bake. Oh, I guess they, oh, they bake it in an oven. That's why. Um, if you're ever in the South and you're in, you're invited to a Buford stew or a low country boil, you gotta go. And don't be shocked because it is served. It is usually served like they'll throw the paper over the picnic table and they dump it on the table. <laughs> and that's how you eat it. It is so good. Oh my goodness. Papa's ribs. Okay. Anyway, crab cake. So I'm loving the book so far. Only two more. Um, this one is called the, okay. I can't drink alcohol, wine, anything much. Um, but when I'm wanting wine, I'll like hold off on my medicine and my, and my two favorites. I love Riesling and I love a good Moscato. And when I saw this, I was like, they made that book for me. The Riesling Story, the best white wine on earth. This normally sold for $24.95 in the U.S., £15.99p in the U.K., and $27.95 in Canada. And by Stuart Pigot, Pigot? I, don't, I don't know how to say it. So the Riesling is a medium dry. Um, so basically it's just a good read. And um, Riesling is kind of like champagne. Riesling, a, a true Riesling comes from a region in, I believe, my understanding, Germany. Just like a champagne can really only be called a champagne when it comes from, I guess, the champagne region in France. I don't know a lot about wine. That's about all I know. Um, oh, look, Berlin Riesling cities. Yeah. So I'm... I'm looking forward to this. I'm, I'm going to enjoy that as a read. And then the last one, as a fun, Icebox Cakes. Recipes for the coolest cakes in town. Um, this originally sold for $18.95 in the U.S. and £11.99, £11.99p in the U.K. And um, I want that right there. Anyway, you lost me at peanut butter. I'm not a big peanut. So the funny, okay. Tell me if this has happened to any of you guys. As a kid, I could get the the jar of peanut butter and just eat it from the jar. You know, great big, you know, you know, massive spoons of peanut butter and just go to town on it. When I got pregnant with my oldest, just the smell of peanut butter would just send me running to the bathroom. To this day, peanut butter, the just talking of peanut butter, um, the only time I can eat peanut butters, I have to want, be wanting a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and it has to either be strawberry jelly or apple jelly. Uh, now, I love peanut butter cookies, and I love no-bake, or as our family calls them, messy cookies, you know, with the oatmeal, um... Other than that, I can't stand peanut butter. And and seriously, the smell just makes me ill. Um, which is funny because I loved peanut butter as a kid. <laughs> Anywho, um, that was a that was a side ramble, wasn't it? Um, chocolate wafer, vanilla whipped cream. Yeah, that looks okay. Okay, I love, okay, I adore peppermint. Um, I adore peppermint so much that um, Bath and Body Works has a peppermint, a peppermint, I think it's called Peppermint Twist body spray that comes out at Christmas. Absolutely adore it. Um, I only wear it at night though. I don't wear it when I go out of the house. I only wear it at night. I don't know what it is. It has a calming effect to me. Uh, 
And I love a, I love peppermint ice cream when it comes out at Christmas. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Here we are talking about food. Pistachio chocolate. I don't know how, I love pistachio, but to me, pistachio should be by itself. Um, white chocolate. Ooh, that sounds white chocolate orange. I might have to try that one. Um, and I'm not a, oh, that's a black forest. Okay. Espresso chip. Eh. Um, a guy I used to date, his mother made the most amazing cakes. And she made me for my birthday one year, um, a six layer toffee tort. Let me tell you, that was pure heaven. It's made with, uh, preferably it's made with a score bar, but if you can't find a score bar, you use the Heath bars. And, um, I haven't made that cake in years, but that is a pure heaven cake as well. Um, s'more. Oh, I have a recipe my son found. My, my middle guy loves Boston cream, you know, like eclairs. And we have a recipe for a Boston cream cake that is to die for. And he asks for it for his birthday every year. So, yeah. Anyway, so, yeah, this is going to be... Ooh, and I adore lemon. <gasps> that one's getting me... Ooh, lemon curd. Oh, my grandmother makes the best, okay, some of y'all may know because you're my age or older, chocolate mayonnaise cake. Whenever I talk about it, people look at me in disgust. <laughs> a good chocolate mayonnaise cake, and then she makes this homemade lemon curd, and the two together are just, it's just heaven. Absolutely heaven. And yeah, but seriously, anything lemon, I am just like, I'm right there. I'm at the front of the line. Yep, sure am. Strawberry. Look at that. Strawberry lemon. Uh, yes, please. So, I say for a dollar a piece, I hit the jackpot. That's it, guys. That is my Dollar Tree haul. Um, very happy with it. Not a lot of craft stuff, I know. Kind of shocking, right? Um, but I hope y'all are doing well. I might go back and see if they have any of these again. And if I do, I'm probably going to pick them up and put them in giveaways. Um, especially now that I took a deeper look into them. So I'm going to go look tomorrow. And uh, we'll see. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great Monday. I love you guys to pieces. As always, have a great day. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.